Hello, saxophone players of Williamsburg, James City County Public Schools. Uh, we're going to learn about the saxophone embouchure today and how to make a great sound. Now, when it comes to the saxophone and the clarinet, those are the two most difficult instruments um, when it comes to learning the embouchure because we have more, it's not like the flute where it's like, oh, here it is, put the embouchure to the instrument, or brass, put the embouchure to the instrument, or percussion, put the sticks in your hand and play. This one, we've got a couple things we need to know about. So, this is what we call the mouthpiece. Yours might not look like a spaceship like mine, um, but it, it should look pretty similar. Um, and then you've got, this is what we call the ligature. And it should have a screw on it. Mine has one screw. And I prefer these one screw models the most, but yours might have two screws. And don't worry, we'll go over what to do if you have two screws. The next thing you are going to need is what we call the neck of the saxophone. Your saxophone is broken up essentially into three main pieces, the mouthpiece, the neck, and then the instrument itself. We are not going to be playing on the full instrument today at all, okay? Um, so don't even worry about taking that out at all. This saxophone neck uh, is what you need next. So I'll put it right here. Then you need reeds. You don't need 10 like me. If you have five, that's a perfect number. You need at least five reeds at all times, and you need to be rotating through them. You do need to get some sort of a reed carrier, like this one. Um, this one has 10 slots. You don't need 10 slots. You can get a little four slot uh, reed thing, or maybe two four slot reed things. Um, but when you buy a box of reeds, they usually come in a pack of 10 anyway. And this is one of the most important things about our instrument, and it's also one of the most finicky things about our instrument. Um, and reed care and reed maintenance is a huge deal. So, uh, if you have a new reed too, just open up the package, take it out. We need to learn first how we wet the reed. This is how we prepare the reed for playing. And there's tons of ideas we can get in on reed care and reed maintenance. But we're not gonna talk about those right now. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take it, you're gonna sort of get your mouth all salivated up like you're about to, you're, oh, you're thinking about a really good steak or a really good burger, you're about to go to Five Guys and you're just thinking about all the incredible meals or maybe you're going to Food for Thought, oh man. And once you're all salivated up, put it in your mouth. Flip it over. Then we need to also wet the back of the reed. This is vital. Do not, do not touch any of the thin part of the reed. You'll notice the reed has a couple sections, fat and thin. Never touch the thin part of the reed. Never, ever, ever. What are you not gonna do? You're not gonna touch the thin part of the reed. So you're gonna touch the back part, get the back part wet. And look, you notice how I'm grabbing it down here. I'm grabbing it down at the, flat, the fat part of the reed. And I'm avoiding the thin part. I'm avoiding this thin part up here, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, while this reed is in your mouth soaking, okay? You're gonna take your neck, you're gonna take your mouthpiece. It's that easy, that's all you have to do. You just slide it in, and you want maybe a little bit of the reed showing. No more, I mean the cork. Maybe what we call the cork. No more than an inch of the cork showing. I want you to take one hand. For me, it's going to be my right hand. For you, maybe it'll be your left. Um, let me do it with my left hand, actually, so that you can mirror me with your right hand if you want to. Um, and you are going to take your thumb. Make sure your ligature is loose, so you need to loosen the screw. Lefty, uh, light, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And you're going to slide it up with one thumb, then you're gonna take this reed and you are going to slide it underneath the ligature. Slide it underneath the ligature. Slide it down. And now, you, remember, you are not to touch the tip of the reed, you are not to touch the thinnest parts of the reed. Those are very fragile parts. So I do not want to see you hammering this down with your finger, okay? You can take the sides of the reed and shimmy it 
down here. Shimmy it down until the reed is even with the tip of the mouthpiece. So you should not see, and you don't, you should not see the reed on this side, but on this side, you might be able to see a little bit of the black of the mouthpiece. So let me lower it down slightly. It needs to be perfect. Now you'll notice your reed, there's the thick part of the cane, and I don't know if you can see this, and you might be able to see it on your reed. There's a break right here. There's a line, and then there's a curve. I call this the smiley face of the reed. Okay, you wanna see the reed smile. You always want the ligature, both parts of the ligature to be below that cutoff line. Below that cutoff line. Now, if you have a two uh, screwed ligature, it's okay, you're going to emulate what it's like to have a one screwed ligature by doing this. Ready? You're gonna take the screw and you're going to just tighten it lightly until it's snug, not tight, snug, okay? It shouldn't move easily, but it also should not be choking the reed. If you have a second screw, second screw, you're gonna take that second screw and you're just gonna tighten it until you feel the slightest bit of resistance. As soon as you feel any resistance, stop right there. That's all you need to do. Now we're ready to play our mini instrument. The mini instrument for the saxophone. Um, you need to know a couple things about the embouchure. I want you to say, ooh, 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 ooh. Notice how like a doll string bag, your corners go in. And now I'm talking strange. And then you're gonna roll on your bottom lip. So you're gonna roll in, ooh. It looks like I'm hurt or like I'm really, like I saw somebody crash on a skateboard. Ooh! And you're rolling in your bottom nut like you're an old lady. You're gonna slide in your mouthpiece in. Ooh! And now you're just gonna blow fast air. <laughs> Great start. Now, I guarantee you didn't do one thing. Your top teeth. This time we're gonna bite down from the top, from the top. The bottom teeth do not need to bite down, but your bottom teeth need to be aware of the reed through the lips. You roll the lip. Mm, this is the strength. Look. <sighs> my teeth are touching the reed, and my bottom teeth are touching the lip. If you remember from last time our breathing chant, we're gonna do the breathing chant together on this mouthpiece. Remember, your teeth are engaged in this process, your top teeth especially, but your top lip also needs to be engaged. Yes, your lips need to hold the instrument, but your teeth do their part too. Breathing chant, one, two, three, four, he's out. Until you get a beautifully steady tone, we are not going to learn at all anything about the articulation on the saxophone. So don't worry about the tongue. You're just blowing hoo, hoo, ooh, 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 right? We're blowing that ooh. But remember my teeth? The sex one should not pop right out of your mouth if you were to do that. It's hard for me to pull that instrument out of my mouth. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about how we actually do breathe in through the mouthpiece. This is why it's so important to have your teeth on. Look at me. This is how I breathe in. My top lip, primarily. So my bottom lip stays here, and my top lip, my corners go <sighs> like a balloon. <laughs> Breathing chant one more time, everybody. One, two, ready. Breathe out. <sighs> Ooh. You 
you might notice that exercise number three on the sheet that's in the description that you should all be working on, number three on the sheet in the description is this exercise. Ready? It's eight counts. It's two measures total, which means we're using our air for even longer. You need to take a huge breath in. One, two, three. I want you to watch your face in a mirror this time. Look at your face in a mirror, and do you see yourself shaking, or about to fall over, or squinting, or like, your face should look natural. Look at my face. You can't even really tell whether or not I'm playing. And that's what we want it to look like for you. Your face should be natural. Start working on that saxophone embouchure. See if you can match the pitch that I'm getting. That's how you can tell if you're really matching it. And if you're having trouble matching my pitch, that's okay. Just keep playing, keep trying new things, and check the embouchure guide I'll put in the description uh, for extra help on how to form that saxophone embouchure. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful day uh, and happy practicing.